this is my boo, right? I show you this because I want you to see the work that I put in. All right. I went off to the Navy and got myself a nice fly car after joining the military. I mean, I got, I mean, I got a nice fly car in the military and then ended up getting a, another Porsche, but ended up getting this one after I did some dumbass shit and I'm trying to get to where I'm going with this whole thing. I'm just trying to be real with you guys right now um, because that's just what I am. If I, I just feel like if I tell you what I go through now, when you hit my age, you won't go through it. You know what I mean? You'll be like, Marcus told me better. That's the goal. That's what, that's the only thing I ever wanted to do. And like when I joined the military, I was like, God, what is my purpose? Like, why do you want me to go this way? Because I was ready to play basketball and be, you know, great at, you know, something else, you know what I mean, on that. And like my purpose was to go to the military. I guess I'll take it, whatever. Um, so after many arguments of arguments with God, excuse me, I'm parched. Um, I, uh, I wonder what, what I was supposed to do. I'm like off in college. I broke my foot my senior year of high school. I just wasn't like, you know, doing too well, like mentally. I didn't have a good headspace. So I was just like, I didn't have my parents to talk to, you know, about it. Or I didn't feel like I did. So, um, I ended up lifting weights and started drinking and living a college life that I never lived before. I just started, I didn't have my first drink until I was 19 at my boy's uh, m- mother's birthday party. And I thought it was some grape juice. And yeah, anyway, it started a long spiral of me doing dumb stuff. But I was resilient during that whole time. Yeah, I do dumb stuff, but then I was, I was resilient. And like, I, I made it up for it. You know what I mean? My parents gave me a lifestyle that I could, you know, they, they would help me get through any kind of drama I went through. So when I was 21, I tried to do a favor for my cousin. And uh, I ended up, I was drunk as hell, man. And I was in Bridgeport and I was just doing the wrong thing. And um, I didn't know, I'm used to stop signs where I'm from. Every corner has a stop sign. This place didn't have a stop sign. And I, I kept on going. And the person that had a stop sign thought may, may have thought I don't know exactly, but anyway, we ended up, t- I ended up T-boning them. They didn't stop at the soft sign, supposedly, but it was a lot of drama at 21, man, and I was, bro, I should have known that drinking was not the, the what I should have been doing from that then on, like, I should have known, but anyway, um, I got my degree, I partied, I, I ruined my, you know, I could, I ruined my college career by drinking. I got kicked out of the dorms and stuff like that. Like little dumb stuff, like little tedious things, but they, they all add up. They all add up because you get away with them or you, they, they should show you that you're doing something stupid, but you end up getting away with them. So you don't really notice that you have a problem. And I wouldn't say I have a problem, but I have an issue at times where I just black out and I don't think, um, especially like getting behind a car behind the wheel is like a game to me. It's like, can I get away with it this time? You know what I mean? And my mother gifted me her Cayenne S. So um, fresh out the military, I still had my Infinity, but it ended up um, getting a hydroplaning. And I'm getting money from Geico because I've had the car sitting behind the house in the back of the house for two years while I was in Japan. So Geico ended up giving me more than what I, you know, expected, like $10,000 more. It paid off the car and it paid off the, the um, it paid off the car and it paid off my college loans, my two college loans. So I was gifted and like, here I am again, getting a silver platter. And like, I've been running from that for the last, I can't explain how many years, like, I don't, I want the silver platter, but then I don't want the silver platter. So yeah, all my life I've been given everything really. And like my parents, you know, uh, put me in situations where I can delegate to myself, like, or not delegate, but anyway, I can say to myself, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do stupid enough for this. You're going to still make it here and still make time to do this. You know what I'm saying? So like, I knew, I know how to work and be structured to fuck up, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, or hide the fuck up. Cause I like, I'm smart about it. 
So like, for instance, um, I, um, I ended up, um, yeah, graduating and I ended up selling mattresses, like, you know, selling mattresses or who the fuck sells mattresses? You know what I mean? After graduating with a degree. So I ended up like my boy went off to the military and I was like, I'm gonna go off to the military and fucking kill it. So I knew going to the military was going to pay for me to get a house, get a car, whatever the fuck I wanted. You know what I mean? I was going to be able to continue on living like a, like a king, but I'll have to apply myself a little bit. I figured the military is going to make me apply myself a lot more than I usually would. You know, I'm the person that you got to tell you, you can't do this, you can't do that. And then I'll be like, yo, I'm going to fucking do it just to spite you. But anyway, my dumb ass likes to drink and drive. So now I got a gift to show you guys. I got to fucking drive this beautiful Porsche with this fucking thing. Ain't no fun about it, bro. So, I mean, first of all, I'm noticing that I really don't need fucking drinking. So, it's not, I don't need no, I don't need drinking. So, I don't need drinking. So, like, just being up here, trying to come up here and be at re real with y'all about one thing, you know. I don't need to have a pretty ass fucking car. And fuck, have to blow in a fucking that dumbass fucking whatever receiver to fucking tell you when you could drive. You don't need to be fucking playing, you know, half-assing on your game. If you're gonna do something, do it all the way. You know what I mean? Don't, it, don't you see me doing something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you right. Damn, yeah, fuck up my edit and everything. So anyway, I was doing good too. Anyway, so 